Thursday marked the sixth anniversary of the passing of the great Graham Taylor OBE. Watford currently have a staggering 15 first team players out due to all sorts of reasons. They haven't scored in their last two matches at home at Vicarage Road. Blackpool very stop start form. They are edging towards the bottom of the table at the moment. A result today for them is very, very important. Their top scorer, Jerry X, on the bench. Josh Bowler returns. The Tangerine Army will certainly be hoping they can get at least a draw today. We will be with them and we brought a lovely Tangerine to celebrate. I'm telling you from now, all good things happen in the away end at Vicarage Road. And look exactly where we are. Jake, score predictions. Two all. Two all. Mason. Two all. Two all. I honestly think a one all draw, Blackpool to get a late equaliser. I don't know about what, but they are so, so poor in the moment, obviously. So many injuries. We'll back the tangerine today. Come on. Here come the teams. Six years on, may he rest in peace. And now, Vicarage Rose applauds for the loss of the great Gianluca Viali, aged just 58. May he rest in peace. Here we go, come the Fantastic support, of course, to say. It is immense in here. the slightest. Oh, CJ Hamilton has completely and utterly blown it there. He's threw in oh, what for defender, I'm not sure who completely dispossessed him. That was the first even sort of quarter of oh, the referee. Oh, he's not on it today. Tangerine's not loving it at all. Here come Watford with James Morris. <laughs> Minutes to go until half time. Come on! It's the tangerine corner just before half time. Can anything come of it? Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh, bollocks. I think I'm concussed. Oh, no. Corner. Half time. Applause from the Blackpool end. I guess their team have held their own. It has not been a first half for the neutral. Let's just say that this game so far is at the very wrong end of the oh my god, did you see that match spectrum. It, it's been crap, I'm not going to lie to you, but still a long way to go to turn that all around. Can they do just that? We will find out. I'm not too sure, Brett. How is this match ending? No more than one goal. Like, even 1-0. Which way is it going? Go on. Go on. You know Blackboard, you want Blackboard, to. Blackboard. Go on. Mason, how is this match ending? No, no, no. Oh, my God. He's probably right, but what a mug. Jake, how's it ending? Uh, 
Brandon. Oh, Brett and Jake both saying that. I'm gonna have to agree with Mason, unfortunately. Oh, no, but no. Who knows? It's football, it's a championship. Anything can happen. And I mean anything. So let's see. I'm a bit biased, but that's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Gavin Ward is the worst ref in English football. Whenever I see him, he is absolutely diabolical. He is such a liability. It is insane. He is so bad. I can't. I just don't understand how it's possible for you to be a qualified referee at this level and be that bad. Surely that's 1 0 Watford. It is 1 0 Watford. Vicarage Road erupts. I'm not sure who got the goal. Was it, was it Adeyemo? Toby Adeyemo, the number 54. What for debut, what a moment that is for the young lads. What for take the lead. And it's not the biggest surprise I've got to say. Michael Appleton has got to be looking at his bench. You can hear that. It's a huge, huge moment for him. He's actually looked quite rapid since he's been brought on by Slavon Bilic. He taps it home from close range. First blood to the Hornets. Jerry Eight is on for Blackpool. Their number nine, their goal machine. Well, not really goal machine, but their top scorer so far this season is on. Can he make an impact? Can he be the difference? Yates! Oh! What a chance! As soon as he come on, as soon as he came on. Come on, Blackpool! They've got a bit of momentum now that that number nine is on the field. They've got a chance. Oh! I mean, he says the referee's a wanker. I think, he, let's be honest, he's probably made the right decision. Yeah, yeah, he has. Um, it's about to be 2-0 to Watford. It's a penalty to them. Um, a stupid, stupid challenge from Chris Maxwell in the Blackpool goal. And now Watford have a penalty kick in the 86th minute and the chance to double their lead and turn Blackpool's day from bad to worse. Ishmael Asar can do just that. He's been crap. He's been crap all day. And he scores. Well, that's a shame from a tangerine perspective. But the Hornets are marching on. They keep up the playoff chase and Vicarage Road will be buzzing with that now. It's what for nil, it's Blackpool 2 and it's a very disappointing afternoon. For Michael Appleton and his men, you do fear for his job after this result and the substitutions he's made in this and the times he has made them. Slavon Bilic will be delighted. Full time at Vicarage Road. What for two? Blackpool nil. It's a real, real shame. Sitting in that, or standing in that away end, would have hoped for at least a goal, if not a result. But, I mean, beggars can't really be choosers. The way Blackpool have been playing, I'm not really sure what else to expect. Um, it was a very, very poor game of football. Mason, would you agree? Poor game. It's absolutely dreadful. Yeah, he summed it up perfectly. Jake, Shit. yeah, no, summed it up perfectly. Brett, thoughts, quick thoughts. Not enough up front. 
Yeah, don't think black. Well, they had a they brought had on, maybe brought on one or two. Yates brought on too Yates late. Yates brought on too late. Yates should have started, in my opinion. Instantly made an impact. That is all from me. I will see you next Saturday. And then, who knows, for the rest of January. Cheers for watching, lads. Hope you did enjoy it. Although, it wasn't the best. Ah, see you very soon. Subscribe for more down below. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.